Okay, welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. So we're back out here on the lake today. We have a little bit better day. We got the up air. We've got the modified extension mounts on the gimbal for the uh, camera setup. Uh, you can see here. We're also going to try uh, try tri-props today. So these are carbon fiber tri-props. I did a, a unboxing of these a while ago. So I want to see how these are working. So what we're going to do is we should have satellites by now. I got everything set up cameras running so I'm gonna go ahead and arm this and then we're gonna take it up for a little bit of a flight I want a yacht to do a little bit of compass stabilization see if that helps you can kind of see it up there and I'm gonna walk it back around I'm gonna bring it down a little bit do a little bit of walk around of it. You see the camera and gimbal mount. You notice it's not vibrating this time, so we're not seeing any vibration out of it, which is good. Uh, I tell you what, those props make a big difference in the amount of air it moves, just in uh, what was hitting me as it's uh, going through. So you can kind of see it set up like that. So I uh, believe everything's recording. So let's go ahead and uh, take it out a little bit. They get out and up over the lake a little bit. So we just kind of station it out there a little bit. Uh, wind's not too bad today. We do have some like gusts and that kind of stuff out there. So I want to take it out a little bit further. Uh, don't see any ships. We're a little bit hazy today. Uh, so I'm going to yaw this, this around a little bit. To kind of get, get some panoramic views with that 360 camera and also the camera underneath it. So I think it, I think it's now pointing towards me. So when I push it, it should come back in towards me. When I should pull back, it should go back out. Um, I take it up a little bit higher. I got it out there. It's. Uh, Interesting. It's starting to come down a little bit, even though I'm uh, not sticking. It. Let's take it back up and see what it does. Uh, it's holding pretty steady now. I really those. Uh, I've tried those tri-props before on other uh, quads, and I really like the performance of the tri-prop, though. But I do think it shortens the battery life. You know, because you are moving more air, but it's taking more torque. You don't get anything for free, unfortunately. And so let's uh, turn it around. Let's take it out a little bit. Take it out a little bit more. Apparently, I've been going sideways. Now, the one, one of the things is, uh, you know, one of the viewers wrote in about perception. And I tell you what, that's really the case because as, as the copter goes out, there's a parallax between my horizon and the copter. So even though it's roughly holding steady, it looks like the copter is, is actually heading towards the drink. So it's always a little bit tough to kind of get perspective on, on, you know, how high it is above, you know, the... Uh, the horizon, especially when flying on the lake. I don't notice it much on land because you're really not seeing the curvature of the earth like you are here. You know, because basically I'm just seeing out to water and, and having a little bit of parallel X issue. So uh, I'm not sure which way it's pointing. Let's see, it's pointing that way. It's pointing this way. Let's bring it back towards us a little bit. I'll bring it back a little bit more. I think I actually have it facing us because I'm back sticking it to bring it back. So I want to yaw this a little bit. So if I, oops. So if I want to take it, uh, I want to back stick it this way a little bit. So you see, I want to bring it back in towards the shore a little bit because a lot of this is. Because I tell you what, I don't know 
if without the OSD and the electronics mods that I did, if uh, the battery indication is really working or the, the low voltage return to home is, is working quite correctly. Um, because again, since I have that problem, I did have to mod it. So here we are, we're bringing it back closer to us. I want to bring it down a little bit. I'm sticking it down. I want to bring it in. I want to see if I want to take a look at the battery lights on the back. But I got to tell you, I'm really liking those those tricarbon fibers. I might actually put them on the Phantom too. I uh, bring this down. Bringing it down a little bit, I want to bring it forward. Just checking the beach out. Bring it down. Let's take a let's take a look at the. Uh, let's see what we got on the battery indicator. Looks like we're down to about one uh, one light. Let's uh, let's take a little bit of a run down the beach and then back before we land it. Just kind of watching the beach here for anybody coming up the beach. See that, that parallel X? I think it's uh, descending a little bit, so I'm going to turn this around. And I want to get a little bit more altitude. For some reason, it's sinking a little bit. The one thing with that uh, 360 camera on there, you can actually see the front for quite a ways. So now it's coming back towards me. So let's see if we can uh, take it down and let's see if we can land it. Again, let's take a quick look. It's uh, drifting a little bit even though I've got it in the middle. I've got it in GPS position hold. Uh, there's a little bit of a wind but actually not that much that it should be drifting. So let's uh, let's bring it back. Let's see if I can't land it right on that. Flying it backwards pretty hard. Now we're not by that. Let's see if we can move it over. Everything's backwards because it's facing me. Yeah, let's see if we can do it. Yeah. Get a little squirrely as it's getting so close to the ground, so let's. Yeah, we got pretty close, so we'll go ahead and disarm it. So we got it disarmed. So we've got another good flight of the uh, up air over the lake. Uh, let's take a quick look, see uh, what we're doing. Bad news is, does not look like we've gotten any 360 because the counter hasn't incremented. Uh, but it looks like I might have gotten footage off this bottom camera.
not sure. So it doesn't look good uh, with the footage. So anyways, uh, but the flight test of the triprops worked well. Uh, the new gimbal mount worked well. We didn't have any buffeting like we did uh, in the last flight, so I'm happy with that. So now I just got to remember to figure out how to turn on the camera, and I think we'll be better. So anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. If you found it interesting, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget, uh, subscribe button's coming over there. Hit me up in the comments if you have any, and hey, we'll see you in the next video, where I remember to turn on the camera. Cheers.